Hello guys, this is part 5 of the basics tutorial series. In this video we'll be covering all of the transforms, so let's just jump right into it. Since the last time a lot of things have changed, we've added quite a lot of new features, so for now I'll just extend the series with the new features and I don't know, maybe in the future we'll recreate the basic series in its entirety, but for now let's just stick with this. So the first big thing is the precision tools. You can turn on the gizmo for each of them, namely move, rotate and scale. There is also a third one which controls all of the three at the same time. You can see the gizmo boxes for them on your secondary controller down at the bottom. You can also choose if you want to use local or global mode, see if this is something you might like. But if you still need to be more specific with your transforms, you can open up the Rework context menu and the second tab will be full with settings for your precision tools. Here we have three sliders for each of the axes for move and rotate and all the three are together at scaling so you only have one option there. If you want to exclude the other directions, you can go ahead and lock them in place one by one. If you want to, you can reset each value, so for example for move, it's going to snap back to the origin. Now if we're at snapping, on the bottom of each tab you can see values for snapping. Go on and see if this is something you might need, the strength is different for each of the tools. With the eyedropper you can copy the transform values onto other objects if you need them to be at the same place or if you need them to be the same size, face the same direction. And the last box is for numeric input which lets you set the values numerically. So currently there is no metric system implemented but of course this is something we know about and we are working on. So don't worry guys, we will come out with something in a close future, I promise. We also added a couple of new things like a more manageable file system and thumbnails. And we also did some reconstruction on our old tools. So if anything differs from the original tutorial series, I recommend you checking the feature videos out. And the update notes are always available on our Steam page and at our help center. But still, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us on Discord or maybe type up one of our forums at our help center and um, we'll try to help best as we can. See you guys in the next one.